religious tradition that many Christians have been practicing for centuries, remembering the 40 days and nights that Jesus spent alone in the desert without food. However, there is a shrinking portion of young churchgoers still observing Lent, including Carlton student Jessica Vasquez. You feel like you've accomplished something uh, when you practice Lent. I find that for myself, I find that, you know, chocolates are the best, but um, it's something that I love and enjoy and uh, willing to give it up for 40 days, it's, uh, it's something good. It's hard for the church to relay the importance of Lent to a younger demographic, says Father Lindsay Harris of St. Patrick's Basilica. Because a lot of the young people don't go to church, eh? so there's a certain percentage do, but a lot that don't. Father Lindsay stresses the significance of self-sacrifice during Lent. We owe them all to God, and so we're showing through that ascetic uh, practice that, that we, we recognize that and that we've often misused these things, and so we're, we're, we're also trying to show penance for it. People are continuing to give up life's guilty pleasures, like alcohol and desserts. However, church leaders are worried that the youth of today aren't continuing to practice this religious tradition. Another Carlton student, Emil Scheffel, echoes the feeling that most young people have towards Lent. To be honest, I don't find going to church all that difficult. What I do find a little bit difficult is keeping up with some of the stuff they expect you to do outside of actual Mass. You know, setting aside two hours on a Sunday isn't a problem for me, but uh, then, you know, for example, going and doing Lent for, uh, you know, 40 days or whatever it is, a little bit harder to, uh, to do what they ask of you. The tradition of Lent continues, but not for all. Adam Stanley, CJTV News, Ottawa.